Web 3.0 holds the potential to completely change every single aspect of the internet as we know it. And one area in particular that's primed for disruption is social media. In this video, I'm talking about a new player into the scene that has just launched that has a lot of potential for changing social media and how there's a big opportunity for Web 3.0 developers. So I'm going to talk about that and how you can jump on that opportunity today. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about how Web 3.0 social media is a big opportunity for developers and a new opportunity in particular that has just come onto the scene because a new player, uh, the Lens Protocol, has just launched and is starting to get traction and there's an opportunity for developers to build upon Lens and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video because they're currently offering $250,000 in developer incentives to build on Lens. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is just a really cool opportunity that I wanted to share with you all because you need to pay attention to this. All right, so let's talk about social media and how it's right for disruption with blockchain before we start talking about how this potentially fixes this problem. I think a lot of people understand that there are inherent problems with social media from the algorithm to the lack of transparency to the deplatforming, censorship risks, all that type of stuff. So, you, for example, if you get on a website like Twitter or, you know, Instagram, and you start seeing things trending in your algorithm, how do you know that's actually what's trending, okay? There's no there's no transparency into how that algorithm works. We've seen this come to the surface with Elon Musk recently talking about buying Twitter in attempts to make the uh, algorithm open source. There's a huge desire for transparency in social media, and that's exactly what you can do with blockchain. If you put more information out there, where people can see it, then that gives more insight into how the machine itself is actually working and is less mysterious, less trust involved, okay? So another big way is censorship resistance. So, you know, people talk about deplatforming, the ability to just take people off of a so social media network or take your posts and shadow ban them so maybe they're not, you know, seen in the algorithm or other people's timelines. Well, with blockchain, you can create information that's censorship resistant. And you can also do things like, you know, give people more... Uh, autonomy and control over their own information with NFTs by creating identities around this. And so that's where Lens comes into play. So what is it? Well, it's a social media protocol that actually lets other developers build applications, social media, web 3.0 applications on top of it. And that's where the big opportunity for developers comes into play, which I'll talk about here in a minute. So how does it work? Well, to start off with, all the profiles on Lens are NFT based. So basically, you get a non-fungible token that you know, represent your own identity. And then whenever you, you know, friend other people or follow other people, then you are connecting with their NFTs by getting new NFTs. So what's a really cool benefit of this? Well, it's more, you know, control over your own identity. Okay. But the cool thing about this is that, you know, you can create a social graph, you know, who are you friends with? And that can actually transfer from application to application because don't forget, like whenever you're using blockchain technology, like, and you connect your wallet, you're a user of the entire network, not just each individual application. You're not just handing your data over to Facebook or Instagram, okay, and then letting them control everything. It's it's exists in the entire network with your own profile. And one big benefit is if you spend all the t t hard you know hard work, you're getting a following on one platform, then you know your uh, you know followers can just transfer with you from platform to platform and vice versa. It also changes how the social media posting works in general. So anything you want to create and share, you can do with a, something called a publication. Okay, so if you're going to be a developer for this, this is important for you to know. So basically, Lens port Protocol uses IPFS and different media types that let you do this. So instead of just like putting a tweet and sticking it on a blockchain, you can actually use the interplanetary file system to create all different types of media. So if you want to build an Instagram clone or a YouTube clone, you've got all the different you know capabilities to do that. Now, the cool thing about the posts is you can actually collect posts from other people like you would collect NFTs, okay? So this is a new form of self-expression, curate your collection and show off what you love. So it changes the dynamics of reposting as well. So you can show the original post ownership, which is also critical on social media because how many times do you see like content just ripped off, right? You can actually prove that you own a specific post and then that can be mirrored by other people. That's their like resharing feature. And you can do all the run of the mill stuff that you do with other social networks like following, commenting and a whole lot more. All right, so let's talk about the big opportunity for developers, okay? So the opportunity is really twofold in this case. So the, the big one is that you can come in and be a pioneer because, again, Lens is a protocol that lets developers build other applications on top of it. So if you've been sitting around looking for an opportunity to build a project that people would actually use, 
then here's your shot, okay? Because we're gonna look at some of the applications that have already started getting built here in a minute, and there's hardly anything here. And so if you wanna go early into an area where lots of eyeballs are like watching this space and trying to say like, ooh, what's the cool next thing to pop up here? Then you can do that as a developer. And so like, let's say you build a project and it doesn't become like crazy successful in this space, okay? Then you, you still have something that's super valuable, which is like, hey, I built this thing, I put it out there, I understand this, and that's going to help you accomplish other goals in this space. Let's say you know, you're trying to get a job or get a better job in Web 3.0 or become a freelancer. It's going to be a really great thing that shows that you are very competent, that you understand the space, particularly on the cutting edge of things, because you know who doesn't want to hire somebody who's constantly you know, at the forefront of this space? constantly learning about the new stuff that's coming out on the bleeding edge. All right, so how can you get started if you want to take advantage of this big opportunity? Then definitely go over to lens.xyz forward slash garden. Okay, this is the developer garden uh, that shows you, you know, how it works. Okay, you can also get started by just using the lens protocol if you want to, to test it out. Uh, it's on the Polygon blockchain, so you need to bridge over some Matic tokens to claim your handle. You can see that here. Okay, but for developers, you can go down to this uh, start building lens protocol. And if you have any questions, you can jump in the discord, but there's a, there's a developer guy that's pretty easy to get started. All right. So how can you get started if you want to take advantage of this big opportunity? Then definitely go over to lens.xyz forward slash garden. Okay. This is the developer garden, uh, that shows you, you know, how it works. Okay. You can also get started by just using the lens protocol if you want to, to test it out. Uh, it's on the polygon blockchain. So you need to bridge over some Matic tokens to claim your handle. You can see that here. Okay. But for developers, you can go down to this uh, start building lens protocol. And if you have any questions, you can jump in the discord. But there's a, there's a developer guy that's pretty easy to get started. So let's look at how you can create a new lens project on your local machine. Okay, so they've got a quick setup guide here. So basically, you want to make sure that you have all the basics. So you want to clone their repository for the lens protocol. Basically, you're going to take the entire protocol, get the solidity code and all the dependencies and pull it down on your computer. Okay, you can see it on GitHub here. You're going to need to have Docker installed, okay? So you can actually run this protocol with Docker, all right? Now, the next thing you're going to do is actually create a, a development environment. So you're going to set up like a hard hat project. That's what they're using here. It's probably best to just use hard hat since that's what's in, in the documentation here. And you're going to start your hard hat node and you're actually going to deploy the protocol to it. So, you know, whenever you start a blockchain for development, with hard hat, you're just driving the blank slate. You're just getting a bunch of accounts for free with some cryptocurrency and then empty blocks on the blockchain. So what you want to do is actually take the smart contract for the protocol and put it on there and seed it with some information um, so that you can actually start developing with it because that's what you need. You need a protocol with some data on it before you can uh, actually actually create something. And so once you've done that, you can go on to the next step, which is you know the basics. You can walk through profile creation. So they're going to show you how to create user profiles just like this. Okay, you can check this out in the documentation here. It's a pretty simple script. All right, then you just have to uh, create the profile like this. They walk you through how to like publish posts. Okay, so you can see how to uh, do that with this scripting task here. All right, it's pretty straightforward. And they have documentation for the other basic functionality like following profiles and also collecting publications, which is basically collecting the different posts. So that's an overview of how to just set the protocol up and perform the basic tasks. Now, if you want to create something, the next thing you're going to want to do is actually build on top of that and also reference their module uh, documentation. So you can see, you know, what modules are right here and then how to walk through actually creating a different module, which could extend the protocol on the solidity side. OK, so from there, you want to take all those pieces and then start using them as a composable way to create your own social media applications. And so if you're still scratching your head, like, hey, I, I need just like an idea, something to create. Okay, that's, that's great. What's, that's what the protocol looks like. But what do I actually do? Well, the next thing is just to get creative. So think about, hmm, how could I use this um, to, you know, build something new? How can I use Web 3.0 benefits and create, you know, social media application that doesn't exist right now? So let's go ahead and actually look at some of the early projects that are built with Lens to see what they're doing. And that can kind of, you know, get your imagination going to see what you might create. All right. So the first project that I want to talk about here is Lenster. OK, so this is L-E-N-S-T-R dot X Y Z. All right. So this is essentially just a Web 3.0 social media, uh, like almost like Twitter clone, just put on top of Lens protocol. You connect your wallet up here. You can create uh, posts with different media types. OK, you can follow people. 
Um, it, it's basically just t- turning the Twitter experience into a Web 3.0 experience built on top of Lens. Okay, that's the most straightforward idea that you could possibly build. All right, and here's an example of that. So let's talk about some other things. And some of these are even smaller projects that would be a great uh, idea for somebody, like even just one developer to create. All right, we can see other stuff listed here down below. This one's called LensFriends.xyz. So these are profiles based on your Web 3.0 footprint. So this is pretty cool because essentially this is a way to create digital identities, all right, that are based on what you actually do um, on Web 3.0. So you can verify what your activity is. Let's say you're an NFT collector where you can kind of create a profile based on that. Let's say you have a history of like being you know, good with DeFi. You can create a profile based on that. Think about it sort of like an extension to other social networks. And, you know, we're just scratching the surface of what you could do with this. Like think about what if you could create a profile of people who are like, you know, the top NFT traders and you could actually use their information from the blockchain and then give them that social proof and they get sort of like an NFT badge they could carry on any social network, for example. Like, hey, here's the on-chain proof that I know what I'm talking about in this regard. And then boom, you get a badge of that and you sort of have a third-party certification uh, protocol, maybe built with Lens or something similar that does something like that. So Iris is another project that's built the Lens protocol early. So this is it's a social media uh, platform for three point creators. Saying share, you know, exclusive content. It looks like another Web 3.0 social media sharing platform. And if I had to guess, it looks like this one has probably evolved over time because the initial description on the website here says subscribe to creator feeds for accessing, uh, for sorry, for access to token gated content. Well, actually, that's different. So it looks like essentially, you know, if you want to have, you know, let's, say, let's say like you are on Twitter, for example, and you had a private account, like you, you said, I only want people who follow me to be able to see my tweets or that I approve to follow me. Well, maybe this could be a, sen- a case where you basically have a token. Um, you have to hold that token in order to see this person's content. And maybe that token could be an NFT. It could be an ERC-20 token. All right. Uh, I don't exactly know. I'm just looking at the early projects here, and that's a guess. And that's not what this does. And hey, there's a great idea for somebody to create something with Lens. There's also another project here called Clipto. So this is personalized videos from your favorite crypto stars. So it looks like you can uh, become a creator and make clips for other people and then they can purchase them as NFTs. Okay, you can see the price tags here. So essentially, if I like want this person to make me a uh, personalized clip, I can just request it and then pay this amount and they will make it for me and send it to me as an NFT. So there's all kinds of things you can do here. Uh, definitely check out the homepage on Lens to see other projects to get the creative juices flowing to see what you can build. But I really think this is a big opportunity for anybody who's like, just, you know, felt dry creatively and are like, hey, I want to create a portfolio piece or I want to actually like try my hand at a, at a project that other people can use. This is a great place to get started because, you know, this is something that's brand new. It's a blank slate. It's got lots of people who are jumping in to get their hands dirty with this and want to try something new before it potentially gets popular. And there's great resources for you to, on how you can get, exactly get started as a developer like we've talked about in this video. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Tell this video's out so the more we can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast at this technology as I am and you want to try your hand at this opportunity, then you definitely need the coding skills to get started today. So how can you get those? You can definitely go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, Maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely. I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.